Well, good morning. Uh, this here is a 1974 uh, Zenith E4760. It's got the 25EC58 chassis in it. Uh, we just got done replacing the 22 uh capacitors in this sucker. Uh, there were five of them originally. One had been changed by a previous technician to the replacement orange uh, orange uh, cap, the spray light cap. The others uh, he curiously left in for whatever reason. So for safety purposes, we decided to change those out. We were having a bit of a blooming issue with this TV. It's helped the picture a little bit. Um, the voltages, B plus, the 24 volt supply, everything seems to be pretty kosher with this thing. It's just got a real soft picture, kind of almost reminiscent of a 90's vintage Zenith. But uh, I got a feeling there might be a, a module going in this. It's still got some issues with it. It's, it's a good receiver. Um, it's got great color. It's got plenty of brightness to it, plenty of contrast. Just not not sharp. We just got to dig into this one a little, a little bit more. But I'm happy with it for now. It's, it's for now. It's working. It does need a little bit of convergence uh, adjustment on it. I tried to just sort of eyeball it in uh, as it sits right now. It's uh, not too bad here. This is our local channel 10. Only got the set of, only got the set of rabbit ears hooked up to her for the moment here. We don't get too uh, good. Uh, reception out here in the garage. I'll crank this baby up here a little bit. We'll keep you posted. And hopefully that mix will lean more towards snow because I think all the ice was the big problem last time. Yeah, the indications are getting price tag in the six hundred billion dollar range. Well there's uh, we only get four stations down here as it is uh, on the rabbit ears. So a quick band scan. There's uh, channel twenty three here locally in Albany. This is the thing that kind of that kind of gets me a little bit is the way this works. I don't know if this is broken or this is the way this tuner is supposed to function, but as you can see, it just kind of freewheels like that, and then it will fine tune, and then the click stop tuner kicks in. So I'm not really sure exactly. Like there, we we'll kick it over one more, and then fine tune it. That's UHF channel 19. I know it says channel 10 on there, but that's channel 19. And then we, and then we kick it up to 23 here. But uh, the uh, channel indicator could theoretically read just about anything. So, not sure exactly why that's like that. I don't know if it's just broken or what. But uh, this set's had quite a bit of use. I rescued this baby out of a garage. Uh, she was buried under a lot of trash and was actually stacked on top of another console, an old mid 70s Philco color console. I wish I had rescued that one, but that one didn't look like she was in too great a shape. Um, so I passed on it and picked up this uh, Avanti series. And we'll, we'll turn it down a little bit here and take a walk around the back here. All right. I didn't have the correct caps to put in there, so I put in a couple of Panasonic polyfilm um, uh, capacitors there, as you can see off the flyback. Those are the correct rating, 18 microfarads at 16 hundred volts um, so I mean this isn't going to be a daily watcher or anything so hopefully those will hopefully those will hold out here I don't know if this camera will pick it up or not but you can hear a hum in here I'm just going to use the camera and then when I play this back later I'm going to see where that hum is coming from I got a feeling it's from that module right there, but I think the tube here is making a little bit of racket as well. When I flip this over into service, it goes away, but I can still hear 
I can still hear the main transformer hum a little bit and I expect that but then you get back almost sounds like a little video hum so I'm not sure if that's just from age or if there's something else going on in here like I said all the voltages are are pretty good in this set so I mean on 24 volts we get 23 and a half our B plus 125 is at 125 and it's rock solid so um, and the 240 volt looks pretty good too so I'm not sure what's going on with this baby but I thought I'd post a little video of it and sort of as a uh, token of my appreciation everybody on Audio Karma who helped us out here with this one <laughs> Uh, she's just got great color. Love this set. I wish I had a better signal down here to to show it off. I know on channel nine, yeah, it does that on channel nine for some reason, and that's the only set in the place that does it. So I'm not sure if that's another indication of a problem or if it's just picking up these fluorescent lights or what. But. Uh, that didn't, this set didn't do this before. I don't know why it's starting to do it now. But, uh, great picture. Graphics down here are cut off because this station's running in high definition right now. All these school closings are from the recent ice storm that we had here. We didn't have power here for a couple of days. I think uh, we lost our power here on Thursday night and didn't get it back till Sunday night. So. Figured while the lights are on here, and I got the heat running in the garage. We'll come down and finally finish this project. So, good to go.